Hey y'all, I want to show you this custom made piece. This is the uh, piece of plumbing that's going to sit between the floor of the bus and the top of the wastewater tank. The floor of the bus is about right here. This is above the floor. This is below the floor. Um, this ties into the tank. It's an inch and a half spin welded fitting in the top of the tank. This is a combined plumbing through the wall but from the two sinks into this, down, down, and into the tank. This is the fitting from the uh, shower. You can see, and this has a P trap or a inch and a half fabrication under the bus for the shower and you can see it's pretty massive so the chances of this uh, drying out or sloshing around are just about zero so the shower then will drain into here this is a fitting that goes on the on the drain of the shower down through the p-trap across and into the tank um, you can see this has a rubber uh, connection this has a rubber connection so that anything that's bolted to the bus, like the tank, has a rubber connection. And the shower, which will be screwed into the bus, has a rubber connection so that the plumbing is floating. And I'll put the rubber connection in the wall above the uh, floor for this. So this piece will be floating and not subject to uh, stresses from the, anything that's bolted to the tank. So that's a pretty cool little challenge was getting this thing to work. And uh, that's that. Hey, here's another um, assembly. This is the kitchen sink, which is a very deep sink. This is the bathroom sink. There's a wall right here, a hollow wall. Uh, you can see the P-trap for the kitchen sink, P-trap for the bathroom sink. They both go into the wall. They go into a, uh, a radius stack T. Uh, this will be the drain vent. It goes down the wall, down, and then out the roof in the back. This is will drain down through the wall and down into the uh, assembly that drops into the tank. Uh, there's a separate little segment on that. You can see I've this is just dry fitted. I've got a rubber connector between the sink, which is bolted to the bus, the bathroom sink, which is bolted to the bus, and then the plumbing in the wall will, will be floating, um, shaking, bouncing. I don't want the plumbing in the wall to have develop any cracks, so the, there's a removable rubber fitting here. Also, that this will allow the can undo this connection, this connection, and then drop the P-trap out of either sink to uh, clean out any claws. Pat drops stuff in there; it'll lay in a P-trap. Um, you can see how massive these are. There's a good reason for that. For instance, here's the here's a normal size of a normal P-trap. It's a Home Depot P-trap. Works great in a the house. There are literally millions of these uh, worldwide. Works great in a house. Um, the problem with a bus is that it's bouncing, moving, it's sitting in a driveway for two months. So you need a substantial volume of water in this P trap to separate the gas side of the system from the inside of the bus side of the system. So. Um, this is massively overbuilt to hold a large volume of water to take a long time to evaporate and also a substantial depth 
from the bottom of the P-trap to the drain so that if it does start evaporating, it takes a long time to get down there. Plus, with shaking, jostling, bouncing, um, this water is not going to jostle out of this P-trap. It's going to lay in there. So, um, I think uh, RV is using these little P-traps, shaking, jostling up and down, sits in a driveway for a month. The water is going out of this P-trap, and gases are going to go from the tank around I come right up into the bus, which is a deal killer for my wife, because we had a 30-foot boat, didn't have P-traps, horrible plumbing. The boat would fill up with uh, sewer gas, and uh, that is an absolute deal killer. So these P-traps are massively overbuilt. It's all inch and a half um, from beginning to end, all the way into the tank. So no clog. No evaporation, no sloshing out of the pea traps. <clears throat> okay, we've got the toilet set, um, or just temporarily placed, where it'll work for two things. Every six inches under this floor, there's a three inch beam. Um, an I-beam. So the hole we cut has got to be between the um, I-beams so that the pipe, 4-inch pipe, will go straight down through without having to notch out one of those beams. So I've estimated, measured, and that should be uh, a location um, that will work. It's a little close against this wall, but it's also butting against one of the I-beams under the floor, so that's about the only place that'll work without having to jump to the other side of the I-beam, and that wouldn't work because it'd be too close to the uh, shower tub. So, well, this is, uh, this is a little tight against this wall. This is pretty much the only location that'll work. flange drops right down like that and um, eight screws go into the floor and then there are two T bolts to come up and pull the toilet down flush with the f with the flange with a uh, with a big rubbery gasket right in here so that's how it works pretty uh, pretty simple a whole lot of drilling. Well, I've got the um, collection manifold done under the bus and into the black water tank. This is the uh, this is the tub. Here's the fitting that goes into the black water tank out of the out of the shower tub. Here's the pipe that stubbed up through, and this will go up into the wall for the uh, two sinks. Over here is the toilet flange. You can see it goes down, right down straight smack straight into the um, straight into the blackwater tank no kinks just 
bam straight in this hole is the uh, where the vent will come out of the black water tank up through and then I'm running the um, the vent line inside the bus uh, against the wall so it'll vent the two sinks and vent the tank run along the um, length of the bus to the back go up and then out the roof of the bus in the back I don't want to have roof penetrations um, in the bus if I don't need to what you're seeing there is a bathroom sink I'm sitting in the bathroom forward is the back of the kitchen sink <clears throat> coming down what you see here is the P-trap under the kitchen sink comes into a wall this is the P-trap under the bathroom sink those tie together in the wall to a stack T with a vent out of the top drains down into a, into the drain across down and then through the floor into the uh, fabrication under the floor and then down into the wastewater tank this is the um, drain vent comes across drops down I just got it stubbed then the vent's going to run along the base plate inside the bus T into this which is the vent coming out of the tank and then continue on rearward inside the bus go up and out the back of the bus so this is kind of a standard double P trap <clears throat> with the huge P traps flipped around so they make a vertical circle into a uh, stack T vent coming out the top drain coming out the bottom um, I graded that vein I think it's about three quarters of an inch per foot which is uh, just about what I was trying to get and it all drops down through the floor <clears throat> eventually into the tank well here we are under the bus this is the top of the wastewater tank this is the um, vent one of the vents that goes uh, this will run to the back of the bus this is the three inch um, drain straight down out of the toilet you can see it there um, everything is connected to the tank with a uh, with a rubber connector um, one so that the plumbing is kind of floating and two it allows you to be kind of sloppy with uh, plumbing you know eighth of an inch is close enough when you got rubber connectors to something solid <clears throat> well here we are at the uh, other end of the wastewater tank again this is the top of the tank what you see here is the this is the drain that's dropping out of the top of the bus from the two sinks the p-trap you see there is the drain from the shower you can just see going up into the floor there's a rubber connector between the, the fitting on the base of the shower and the p-trap and the water wise flows over drops straight down into the tank here with an inch and a half rubber connector <clears throat> so again everything is any any plumbing that's connected to solid is done so with a, uh, a rubber connector the fit the rubber connector on this will be up above the floor um, in the wall so that this this piece of plumbing is floating and uh, not subject to uh, stress cracks from shaking and movement of the bus.